uh, this um, energy prices rise um, is a source of concern in uh, several member states and in Spain in, in particular. Uh, the increases we have seen are primarily due to global demand for gas uh, soaring as the recovery is picking up. So we should always take into account this, which is for energy prices, for inflation, for supply chains, bottlenecks. These are uh, collateral effects of a, a quite strong recovery. Uh, and these, uh, I'm not saying this uh, because we should look to these uh, energy prices as a positive thing, of course. Um, this is the quite challenging issue, but the overall picture is that at the basis of this increase is the fact that our economies are recovering quite strongly and quite fast. Uh, and this was not, I think, obvious. So the rising demand has not been matched by increasing supply, and the effects are being felt not only in the EU, but also in other regions of the world. This sharp, these sharp price increases impact especially lower income households and energy intensive industries. And many member states, including Spain, have already taken measures like temporary tax breaks and subsidies to cushion their impact. And these measures will probably continue in the, in the next months. Two weeks ago, the Commission proposed a toolbox of measures that can help to mitigate the effects on vulnerable groups. They include providing direct support to energy poor users, shifting the financing of renewable support schemes outside the electricity bill, or provide aid to companies or industries to weather the crisis. 